Chris Naikari said recent findings revealed that members of the APC in the state have been propagating distasteful and demeaning information against the Benin Royal Palace, a situation he said has resulted in negative campaigns against the traditional institution. Mr. Naikari, while displaying a WhatsApp chat he alleged emanated from the official handle of the APC, urged Edo people to be wary of political parties who thrive on lies and propaganda. We, however, want to warn them that this disrespectful comment about our traditional institution is not a strategy for campaign, and since they have no plan come September 2024, PDP shall trample upon them in a free and fair election to resounding victory. You can see their strategy. One of them who has the conscience is saying, there is, is there no other way to promote our candidates than dragging the palace of our campaign? It's really not nice. Kwai says, this is a good way to finish PDP in the South. And you can see what the other person is saying. Propaganda is part of politics. And this one is a better one in the APC favor. The commission also responded to questions from journalists on the defection of a former PDP chieftain, Charles Idahosa, among other political issues. We have to be careful, especially as politicians and those of us in government, not to get dragged into this kind of cheap kind of propaganda. You can see when the party takes lies and propaganda as their strategy, that party has nothing to offer Edo people. I also hear he claims to have been a member of the BOT or PDP. I want to challenge him to tell us when he was sworn in as a member of a PDP POT. Honorary Chaisers has nothing to offer any political party or any group he joins. Nekare said the state government will not be distracted in its commitment to provide quality leadership and services to Edo people. Kingsley Uchebu, ITV News.